Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial, and all I'm going to say is this is a doozy. Welcome back to another tutorial, and yes, this is a doozy of a project uh, to date. This has been the longest project, clocking in at uh, just about a week that it took from start to finish to get this all together. <laughs> Most of the tutorial, there's not a lot of talking, it's just a lot of doing because uh, there was a lot to do to create this beautiful pumpkin arch that I'm going to share and show with you. I'm stinking excited. It turned out so, so dang well. All of that work was definitely worth it. Um, so enough of the chit chat. Let's let's get down to the nitty gritty of it all and, and let's get crafty. All right, let's, let's go do it. Hey guys, so I'm coming from my garage. Um, the first thing that we're gonna need to do with this arch is take these adorable little pumpkins and carve out their faces. Um, the one thing I will note is I'm not taking away the little nose because I am using a um, kind of like a Dremel, but this is by Rayobi, um, a power little drill um, cutter thingamajig. I don't know what they call them. I don't know what they call it, but I'm using one of those. And this in particular, even with some smaller like engraving bits and stuff, it was just such a pain in the butt to do. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine, because we're gonna be spray painting these after the fact. Um, Cause I don't want the bright orange. I want more of a burnt orange. So I've got some burnt orange spray paint. I have some tans and browns. And then we're also gonna be using skulls in this um, arch as well. So we'll do that. Um, so yeah, I've got just a few more to do. Um, couple things to note when you're doing this. Eye protection is probably a really great idea. Um, and I don't know if you can tell from my shirt. What? Hold on. Did you see that? Yeah. There's plastic everywhere. Um, it's all over my hands. It's in my hair. It's all over my face. So I'm going to be washing up afterwards. Um, so this gets a little messy, especially if you're using a higher RPM. You can just cut these out though with an X-Acto knife. Um, sit down, relax, and have a great time doing that. I just wanted it done faster. So that's why I went this way. And plus y'all know, I'm a pretty messy crafter. So this doesn't bother me at all. It is what it is. Um, so I'm going to finish up the rest of these buckets. Hopefully there's enough. I have 40 of these. Hopefully that's enough. And if not, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll fill it in with a whole bunch of skulls because I have uh, probably 40 skulls as well. So I think we're gonna be okay, but I'm, I'm not gonna be overly optimistic just because I know how these kind of projects go and you figure it out as you go along. So I might be needing to go find some more buckets. I might even get some of these. These are from Target and they're a little bit smaller um, than the ones you can find at Walmart. Walmarts are a little bit more in cost, but they are a little bit bigger too. Um, and a little bit of a thicker plastic. These are pretty thin. Um, so these would be probably really good to cut with an X-Acto knife. The ones from Walmart are a little bit harder to get through with a knife, um, I found. There, there we go. Okay, enough of me chit-chatting because I really want to get this done. So I'm going to go finish doing that.
great. The pumpkins are fully prepped in terms of the faces have been cut out, the little handle straps have been taken out, and they've been spray painted. Now we need to drill holes into them to add them onto the arch, which the arch I've already set up on my front door. I'm gonna build it directly um, on the arch itself. Uh, so there's no prep in that sense. I can't do it, I feel like I need to do it on the steps and not try to like build the arch and then attach it. So the arch is already in place. I do need to secure it a little bit. It's leaning slightly, so I'm gonna do that first. Um, probably off camera, but I'll show that as well as what we're gonna do then is we need to drill holes into each of the pumpkins to attach the zip ties to then attach it to the arch. Um, I don't wanna drill all of the holes before I go to the arch, I'd rather drill them as I'm putting it on the arch because I feel like I'm gonna be moving them and if I put all of the holes in the same spot then it's gonna be very um, straight and not having a little bit of like fill and movement and stuff. We also have skulls that we're gonna add as well. Those were plastic ones from the dollar, the dollar store, dollar, buck 25 store. Um, I bought cases of them last year for different projects, so they're left over from last year. Um, so yeah, we'll probably add those in as well. And then after that, we have more to do. We're really gonna fill this up. This is, this is my most am ambitious Halloween project this year. So there are gonna be flowers in there, of course, um, lights and filler and things like that. So we're gonna head out to my front yard and start working on assembling all of the pumpkins under the arch. And I hope I have enough pumpkins. I think I do. I kind of estimated, um, and I have 40 pumpkins, so fingers crossed. That's all, that's all we need besides the skull, uh, skulls, skeletons, skulls to fill in the rest. All right, let's do this. Hello lovelies, we are back in the studio. Let's give some um, updates on the project that has taken me the longest I think I've ever done for a YouTube tutorial. Um, We're a week in, a little, well, just under a week in on this project. It's taking a lot longer than I had anticipated, but that's okay. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna look great, um, and I will have it for, I'm not taking it down after Halloween. You can't make me, I will for Christmas. Anywho. So, pumpkins are up. Um, I did start putting in lights, but 300 lights was not enough the way I was doing it, which was just kind of dumping them in the buckets. Um, so I'm gonna change that. What I'm doing, I took them all out of the bucket and I'm starting to see if this will work instead. What I'm doing is I'm putting where the little holes were for attaching the handles, I'm sticking a light in there and that seems to be working. Um, and I'm gonna drill some more holes in the pumpkins while they're already up on the arch to add more lights in there, just so that it just kind of glows and gives the spooky feeling um, during the night. The other thing that I've already done 
off camera was I made a whole bunch of bundles of greenery and flowers. These are going to be going into some of the buckets to fill in some spaces. Um, I also need to take the plastic skulls that I have and I need to wire a couple of those up or put sticks on them or something so we can slide them in. I was having issues with the skulls at the different sizes with the pumpkins and everything moving around and not sitting the way that I wanted. Um, so we're going to regroup on that part because there are some decent holes um, that I don't know that if flowers and filler will fill. Um, I'm also taking some of the flowers and filler that I used on one of the arch tutorials, not the um, pool noodle one, but the one where we used bundles again. Um, those have actually, I kept those outside to weather them and they've weathered very well. <laughs> um, super, super pretty, but definitely have weathered. Um, so these are gonna go added to that. I think I have enough. I am gonna grab some more um, pompous grass. I have a decent stash of that. And I also um, am gonna grab, I think possibly some dried palms. I'm not 100% sure on that. I wanna get everything else in first and then make that decision. We're gonna be heading back outside I have to finish the lights. I don't know that I'm gonna film that part, but I may just show you kind of the the um, back end of it, what it kind of looks like, because it looks like a hodgepodge, but once it's all lit up at night, you're not even gonna notice that part, but we're getting there. We're getting there. It will be done by tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm gonna have it done by today. Today is Friday as I'm filming this. I think I'll get it done over the weekend. Um, but it, it's turning out pretty, pretty dang cool. So I'm excited about it. And yeah, enough chit chatting. Let's let's get back out to my front yard and, and get this wrapped up, shall we? Guys, there is the pumpkin arch, officially the longest tutorial that I've ever had to film. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there was a lot of ups and downs. Oh, the one thing I wanted to mention, if you're gonna be spray painting a ton of stuff, there are these handy dandy little gadgets. There's a car coming. Oh, thank you. I'm going to be putting it on YouTube soon. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I've never filmed outside, like in my front yard. Um, hilarious. Okay, so <laughs> let's start over again. Ooh, there is this handy dandy gadget um, that you can put on top of a spray can. Absolutely um, suggest that you use one of those. It's like a trigger pull then, and it makes it so much easier, and your fingers won't cramp. So thank you later on that one. Oh, if you guys have any questions about this, I know it's kind of probably a lot of just sped up stuff, but if you have any questions about this, let me know. Um, I can't remember if I said it not. Originally, I was putting the lights in the buckets, and that did not work out very well. So I drilled holes in the backs of all of the pumpkins and put the lights in that way. Okay, you guys, 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and heck, if you'd like to, uh, we post videos at least once a week. Subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery go to ohyourlovely.com but before you do let me grab you something use the code youtube30 to get 30 percent off your first order all right you guys i'm still not completely done with this we're, we're pretty close though but i'm gonna grab some more pumpkins uh probably a couple of mums and we'll really get this fully done but that'll be in a couple of weeks i just needed to get this out of the way before the weather gets too chilly here in Wisconsin. I also wanted to enjoy it the entire spooky season and probably into November. I think I can get away with that because of all of the filler that we used in there. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.